and welcome to B-Movie For You's 31 Days of Horror. Welcome, welcome. And Sick Nick here, uh, as your host. <clears throat> Alright, I got a little rant here. I'm going to go off, because I'm pissed. I hate being sick. I'm sick right now. Let's say, let's say hypothetically, you're an asshole that I work with, and you have a cold, but you're telling everyone it's allergies. Fucking wash your goddamn hands. If you're going to touch things in the office and the computer and everything, use hand sanitizer. Wash yourself. Or you're going to give everybody your fucking cold. So you know what? Gah! Please, just everyone, make sure to wash your hands. I'm doing it a lot. I'm just sick and I'm pissed. So, anyway. So, yesterday, I watched the 1984 non-classic, because it should be. It's a really fun movie. Mutant. And if you're very excited, because you think this is an alien ripoff, this thing is not in it. At all. And, okay, my brain is going in and out. So I'm going to, on both of these films, I'm just going to tell you what I remember, because it's not a lot. Basically, I remember Wings Hauser's in it, who's always fun. He's kind of like the the cheap version of Bruce Campbell, except not as likable. And uh, it's uh, it's about this like chemical leak in a small town, and it's turning everybody into blue-faced zombies. And I don't know if they want to eat people, but it seems like they just want to like touch you with their hands and make smoke come out of you. And then you turn into one of those zombies, and then you start running around. Basically, Wings Hauser and his brother are driving down the country road, and for some reason, Wings decides to scare his brother by driving without looking. He's like, I'm not looking right now. And then they almost run into this truck filled with rednecks, and the rednecks turn around, chase after them, basically push them into a ditch, and then they're kind of screwed. So they walk to this small town. Coincidentally, where this, not this, but where this chemical thing is happening and all these people are turning into blue, uh, fucked up zombies. And the, everything is really nice. I really, uh, I was spooked. I felt the tension and, uh, Wings Hauser, he's not the greatest leading man, but he does lend this sort of, like, tough guy, I don't know if I like you or dislike you kind of attitude, and I appreciate that. So I enjoyed it. There are a lot of things that, like, happened that I was not expecting, and it's crazy because I think I saw, watched this last year, and I didn't remember it at all, which you can say what you want about that, but... I did not. Uh, I enjoyed it. It is streaming right now on Amazon Prime. I just looked that up. Uh, so watch this, because this is this is something that I, f I feel like it needs a little bit more love, because you can only really get, like, cheap DVDs of this right now, uh, like this, which is garbage. I could barely see what was happening on screen. It looked awful. So um, this is me telling, like, Vinegar Syndrome or Severin or whatever, make a decent Blu-ray of this, because there are a lot of fun things that happen in this film. People dying. Bo Hopkins is in it as the drunk sheriff that he's just depressed, and it takes him till like, the last ten minutes of the movie to get his shit together and start, like, helping Wings and his new schoolteacher girlfriend that he just met. And, uh, it's just, a, the fear is ratcheted up, 
the feeling of just paranoia and uh, just this nightmare. It's it's nightmare fuel. I, I know people use that a lot, but it really is. And uh, I enjoyed the hell out of it. So, moving on. Today I watched, I finished watching a movie that I've seen before, but only uh, with the help of Mystery Science Theater. Today, of course, is not Phantom of the Opera, but it was in this pack. It is The Killer Shrews. Uh, I... I still don't know what a shrew is. It looked like a mouse in the movie when they first showed it to you, and they're like, this is un shrew. It's basically, um, okay, so, Captain, the sea captain, uh, his name is Thorn, ends up on the small island, I think he's bringing supplies, and there's this scientist and his daughter and uh, two assistants, and... They're all working on something that we never really find out. Basically, what they're working on involves these little mice, shrews, and they've been giving them something, and now they're huge. They're dog size because they are fucking dogs, and they have carpet taped to their backs and really long rat tails. Say what you want about how shitty these uh, full-size shrews look like. They are very effective. They are like when they're, like, scratching at the door and you see their face, like, ah, 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 ah. that's freaky. It's actually, like, pretty freaky. So, um, there's, there's a lot of drinking going on in this film. Everybody's getting drunk, which, hey, you know, you're about to die. You might as well have a few drinks. Uh, they, so they all get trapped. Captain Thorne and... And the scientist's daughter, scientist, this asshole, Jerry, that, um, so Mutant and the Killer Shrews are very similar. Watching them back to back, I was like, this is a good companion piece to this, because in Killer Shrews, there's Jerry, who's constantly, he hates the captain, because the captain is kind of falling for Anne, and Jerry wants Anne, and wants nothing to do with him. Uh, in Mutant, there's this redneck guy, the guy that ended up kicking them off the road, Wingshauser and his brother, and he just keeps showing up and keeps, like, screwing with them because he's in love with, I don't know if it's love, but he really likes the school teacher that Wingshauser likes. So, it's, in both, there is a monster in Mutant, it's the blue-faced zombies that have microwaving hands. In The Killer Shrews, it's the Killer Shrews. But the real monster ooh, is man. Anyway, so uh, in Killer Shrews, the Shrews are running around. Um, they're inside. Everybody's inside getting drunk. Every once in a while, a shrew will come in and, like, bite somebody, and then they'll just, they'll die immediately. And, uh, so that, that lends a little bit of freakiness to that, too, because, like, you can't get touched. Don't even get, like, scratched by these shrews, because they will kill you. And I found it pretty entertaining. There were a couple times where I was just, like, I actually did fall asleep watching this movie, but let's just let's not say that that's a bad thing because maybe it, it was making me feel relaxed a little bit and you know anyway I enjoyed it it wasn't the greatest movie ever but it was fun uh, their idea of escaping from this house that they're kind of stuck in which uh, is made of adobe which he keeps saying uh, is kind of ingenious. Because in the end, there's only three of them left. I'm not going to say which ones. But it's um, the people that you actually care about. Uh, they basically take three oil barrels, and they wrap it together, and then they cut out little like eye holes. And so they're all just in these oil barrels and just kind of like walking along in that. That's smart, because then the shrews can't get at them and everything. And uh, it was just 
but it was still, there was a lot of tension too, because they're like coming up underneath and trying to bite them. Either way, both movies were entertaining. I would say, really, you could watch The Killer Shrews anywhere. It's one of those films that's, you could watch it on YouTube, you could watch it, you could watch it on Potato. Uh, Mutant, go to Amazon and watch that. It's a unique zombie film. And I'm going to call it a zombie film because that's basically what it is. You could say it's an infected film, but it's not really. Um, so, I'm going to leave you with that. Mutant, tons of fun. This thing isn't in it. There are no aliens. Don't be fooled. Everybody probably has one of these, I'm sure. If you have it, Killer Shrews is in there. Watch that. Uh, yeah, watch it without Mystery Science Theater. You don't need that. There's just people drinking and uh, dogs with long rat tails biting people. What else could you ask for? So, thank you for watching yet again. Uh, day 20 and 21 of B-Movie 40 is 31 Days of Horror. If you're sick, wash your hands at work. And uh, if you're sick, admit it. Okay? Admit it. And keep yourself clean, you son of a... Anyway, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I sure won't.